I'm playing Patrick Mahomes' career, but he's gonna play until the end of franchise mode. This man might actually end up with 20 Super Bowls, but will they all be with the Chiefs? At the end of year one, Patrick does make the playoffs with an 11 and six record, has a chance in the playoffs to get revenge over the Raiders. No big deal, just another incredible season here from Patrick. He might end up being the first ever quarterback to throw for 1 million yards and 1,000 touchdowns. Now, if you're wondering how Patrick's gonna pull off playing at least another 30 seasons, every 10 years, we're gonna reset his age back to 20. Starting now, it's every NFL fan's worst nightmare. And Patrick does have these three career challenges to complete. And if he's successful, I have to give away a Mahomes jersey to a random lucky subscriber in the comments. I mean, he's got a real good chance, you know, since he's playing forever and all. I'm still so curious to see whether or not at the end of this contract, he remains a Chief. But he's still happy with the Chiefs for now, you know, with a decent running game for once. And he also has Travis Kelsey and a few receivers balling out. It's crazy that the Chiefs didn't have a top five offense. Imagine how dominant this franchise will be if they can get a half decent defense. Now, what are the odds he actually wins his first MVP today? And it's going to go to Patrick Mahomes. He might actually end up with 20 MVPs by the end of the day. Now, what are the odds that he wins his first Super Bowl this season? That would be insane. Can he get past the Raiders in round one? And he doesn't, I don't think. They got beat by two touchdowns? I mean, at least he had a semi successful first season. Only like 30, 40 more seasons to go. And the Raiders are actually really close to almost winning it all. But now it's time to see what this front office can do this offseason around Patrick Mahomes because they need to build a good team around him. The best possible team so he doesn't leave Kansas City at the end of his contract. I mean, all they did was sign a few fringe players, but I guess it's better than nothing. Hopefully they can make up for that with a good draft class here. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty solid first three picks at least. I mean, with Mahomes leading this offense this next season, like, this team always has a shot. I mean, if they miss the playoffs here with Patrick Mahomes at quarterback, everybody in the front office deserves to be fired. Uh, so about that? Bro, the Chiefs should never be missing the playoffs, dude. I mean, our offense did get a little worse, but they're still top 10. I mean, these again are just stupid numbers from Patrick, but I don't quite think they're MVP caliber. I don't even want to imagine how bad this offense is gonna be once Travis Kelsey inevitably retires. Now, did somehow, some way, he Mickey Mouse an MVP? No. Life just always comes back full circle, doesn't it? What is up with this random surgence of the Raiders? Never thought I'd be saying this, but we do need our front office again to have a good offseason so the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes can compete with the Raiders? I mean, we must just not have any money to spend because this is diabolical. This better be the best draft class of all time because the people out there, we need Mahomes to win five Super Bowls. I mean, our absolute stud of a lockdown corner in the first round made up for the rest of this draft. I can't believe I'm asking the question of whether or not this offense is good enough to knock off the Raiders this year. We really need this defense to step up too. I can't believe in three seasons this would make for the first time the Chiefs won the division today. What is our problem? I mean, we had the best offense in the entire league. Ah, uh, that's the problem. How did a QB with these numbers not win their division, dude. That's stupid. You're telling me a team with four 1,000 yard receivers, three receivers with 10 touchdowns or more didn't even make the playoffs, let alone have a winning record? I mean, this franchise might be tainted. We might need Patrick to request a trade. Now, even though they didn't make the playoffs, those numbers Patrick had had to be good enough for MVP number two, and yes, it is. At least not another complete waste of a season. I mean, it's like every AFC West team a Aside from us is making the Super Bowl and the Broncos are winning it. Going into the offseason, the team does have 56 million in available cap. So for once, can you actually sign some good free agents so this team can win again? Now that, my friends, is exactly what we're talking about. Some quality free agents and thank God we brought back Travis Kelsey, although he's probably 45 at this point. I have to say, at least the front office knows how to draft quite well. I mean, this has got to be the Chiefs team that ends the playoff drought, right? I mean, Patrick's so good, he has four upgrades that he can't even use. It's just a matter of fact if this defense can live up to their potential. At least 10 wins this season or somebody's got to get fired. Okay, it's not 10 wins, but at least they made the playoffs again. I mean, the offense took a little step backward, but we're still solid. I mean, again, not as good as last year, but still some ridiculous numbers. I mean, that's the best the team's ever ran the football. Still some good numbers here, but definitely not four 1,000-yard receivers 
numbers like last year. Now, odds, he won another MVP. Not Ooh. quite, but again, he at least came in the top five. Our man's still a 99 overall, now checking in as a 23-year-old. Now, I do need to check and see how many Pro Bowls he's made. But I'm telling you, man, this guy's gonna end up with, what, like 300,000 career passing yards? Now, up to this point, our man has made seven Pro Bowls. So, only 13 more to go. Now, to start off our Super Bowl run here, can we please at least not get first rounded? Keep in mind, up to this point, almost four years in, Patrick Mahomes has not even won a single playoff game, and we got the dub. Ooh, it was a close, close victory over the Titans. Now, what are the odds here? He can travel to Baltimore and take down Lamar Jackson. Oh my god, he actually got it done, bro, but somehow he's gotta beat the 16-1 Bills. Another pretty slim victory. I mean, we're the higher overall team, but what are the odds? We actually go into Buffalo and beat a 16-1 Bills team to advance into the Super Bowl. I mean, I think it's slim, and yeah, they beat us. Oh no, dude, it was only by three. That is so... So depressing. Good thing for Patrick, he has more than 20 years left. I mean, I guess at least we did lose to the eventual Super Bowl champion. But that's not enough, man. We need another big offseason here so we can actually finally win a Super Bowl. Like, we're so close. That is absolutely unbelievable. The only thing they did all offseason was re-sign Chris Jones, which I do guess is a big deal. And with only three seasons left on his contract, you have to wonder if he's thinking whether or not he actually wants to re-sign sign with the Chiefs because it really hasn't been successful. I mean, at least they still are drafting pretty well. Patrick has so many upgrades that he can't even use here. This is the season, though. I can taste it. Well, would you look at who was right? Finally, for the first time today, the Chiefs get a first round bye. I mean, we're back to having a top two offense. Our defense still sucks. The question, though, is whether or not these numbers are good enough for an MVP. I mean, like, they're insane, dude. 75% completion percentage. Ran the ball decently well this season, and Travis Kelsey, even though he's like an 80 overall, still putting up 1,200 yards and 11 touchdowns. Now, what are the odds here that he got himself another MVP? No, dude. Lamar steals it. Yo, that's actually the worst he's ever finished in the top 10. How did I come in sixth place in the Coach of the Year voting? Rigged. At least, though, he did make his eighth Pro Bowl. Still a ways to go, though. But I'm telling you, man, it is finally time to get this team's first Super Bowl of the day. Patrick needs four more. Come on, we cannot lose to a division rival. The Broncos are going down. We're at home. Patrick's gonna grab this dub. Oh, thank God. Now all we have to do is beat another division rival. I mean, it was a touchdown victory, but like the AFC Championship sets up for a good revenge story. Come on, man. We can't lose. We can't lose. We can't lose. Patrick Mahomes to the 14-3 and team at home, and I think we won. I think? Barely, just barely by three points. Come my god, dude, we have to advance into the Super Bowl and take on the most overpowered team in all of Madden. Come on now, we can't lose this quick start. Oh god, it's 7-7 already. There might be a million points scored in this game. We missed the extra point. We go on top by two possessions, so keep it going, Patrick. 27-7. No way we choke this. No way we choke this lead, right? Oh my god, we might actually. We might actually. It's a one possession game now. I really hope we don't lose by one, which we might. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. We lost. Oh my god. We actually choked that. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh, it is actually frustrating how much this game is in love with the freaking Cowboys. Since I can't take it anymore from here, what we're going to do is go ahead and advance well on into the future. We're going to advance to the 10-year mark in 2033, and at that point, see if number one, Patrick, is even still a chief. Number two, see if he's won some more MVPs. Number three, see if they finally won a suit. Super Bowl. So we've made it to 2023, and it looks like the Chiefs got themselves another first round bye, which in fact they did. Now the main question here is like, Patrick Mahomes even still a Chief? The moment of truth! And our man's still here. But the first thing to do here is have our man drink from the fountain of youth. So a 20 year old 99 overall quarterback, surprised his ratings aren't all maxed out at this point. Now how much longer is our man a Chief for at least another four seasons? And the team around Patrick at the 10-year mark is pretty insane. Like, they got their Travis Kelsey replacement. Rasheed Rice is an X-Factor. Now, the defense is the big question 
question mark, and there's really, I mean, some good players, but no X-Factors, no real superstars. Team still with a top two offense at this point, and Patrick continues to put up some ridiculous numbers. This guy vultured 20 touchdowns away from him, and still 10 years into the future, the team's got three 1,000-yard-plus receivers. Odds this was an MVP season for Mahomes? Not quite. He came in third. Now, there's so much that we have to check here. First thing I want to do is see where he is in the record book. So as of right now, he's in third place all time in passing yards. And keep in mind, he still has what, like 20 more seasons to go? Passing touchdowns. He's already in second place. Like he's already a season or two away from taking the top spots. Now I do have to see if Mahomes has won any Super Bowls in the last five seasons. We really need him to to start making some progress. 2028 goes to the Bengals. 2029, the Vikings get the dub. 2030 goes to the Vikings again. Oh, Mahomes had to have won one Super Bowl. Now goes to the Seahawks. 2032 goes to the Jags. But what you will notice here is the fact that Patrick Mahomes has won at least the last two MVPs. So at least he's one away from completing his first challenge. Now, how many Pro Bowl appearances does he have at this point? He has 13, which is also making good progress on that front. We just need our man to win a Super Bowl here so he can finally get on the board. We always seem to play freaking division rivals in the playoffs. We are one game shy of the conference championship already and we got the dub but we have to beat Burrow now. We got the home field advantage bro. I'm just gonna full send it to the Super Bowl and we better and I mean we better be there. We can't lose. We can't lose if we make it and, and we did make it. Two extremely impressive victories leading into a Super Bowl matchup against the other one seed. Patrick has got to make this one count. Patrick cannot make it to two Super Bowls and lose both. Defense off to a good start. Just kidding. 7-3, uh, not good. It's a two-possession game already. Oh, no. It's gonna be a blowout. No, it's not. No, it's not. Come on. Why can't we score touchdowns? It's a one-possession game at least. Tie game, boys. Tie game going into the fourth. No, we're down. We're down by a touchdown. We tie again. There's so much going on. We take the lead. Come on. Hold on. Hold on, please. Game win a field goal. Get overtime. Overtime. Come on. Touchdown. Touchdown. Did we win? Did we win? We won. Finally, dude. It has taken 10 seasons, but finally, dude. Finally, Patrick Mahomes has his first Super Bowl. Now, from here, it's time to simulate another 10 seasons to see again if Patrick Mahomes is still a chief, if he's gone elsewhere. And regardless of where he is, hopefully, he can tally up some more Super Bowl rings. 10 more years into the future, and the Chiefs are still dominating. Another first round by in 2043 and i'm really hoping in the last 10 years they at least won a couple more super bowls but again like we need to find out whether or not patrick is even still a chief man for all i know he's the bears quarterback so a patrick check here off the get-go in the moment of truth patrick is of course still a chief and i mean the team around them looks absolutely insane especially that offensive line and at least for the first time in like 10 15 seasons the defense has an x factor at this point he has more years of experience than his age which i have to say it's ridiculous that he has 99 stats across the board but yeah. apparently is the number two ranked qb in the league like who in the world could be better than patrick apparently a guy named adam boyle how is that better than patrick's ratings now time to see if they've won any super bowls in the past decade so this was the season that we left off in 2035 oh we lost that would have been huge now in 2035 the packers won keep in mind at this point all we need is one more mvp award to complete that challenge 2036 we made it lost again but yo dude another mvp officially means we finally completed our first challenge we need to start winning some of these super bowls so we can actually complete the challenge though 2037 we didn't make it but that's another mvp for patrick 2038 we have nothing good this year come on at least one super bowl at least one right into a new decade 2040 oh my god we win another mvp but how in the world have we not won another super bowl come on now please we did not win one. Oh no Oh, oh my god. God, look at some of these seasons that he's had. 46 touchdowns to zero picks? Like, what even are these stats? Now, how many years are left on his contract? He has five more years. And how many Pro Bowls does he have up to this point? He has 15, so he needs at least five more. How did he only make two more Pro Bowls in the past 10 seasons with these numbers? Now, can we at least get Super Bowl number two this season so we can have a fighting chance in these next 10 years? We have to take down 
down the Steelers first. Come on now, we're 15 and two. This should be no problem whatsoever. And we advance to the championship against the 14 and three Browns. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I kind of do have a bad feeling here. Like we've won too many games in a row via simulation that I just feel like we're probably gonna lose here. No, we don't. We have to take on the Bucks in the Super Bowl. But before we do, I wanna see if by this point, we've got to be the NFL record holder in every passing category. We've just got to, you know, only 120,000 passing yards. And at this point, almost a thousand career passing touchdowns. Like imagine what these numbers will be given another 10 seasons. But first, Patrick needs to focus on winning his second Super Bowl. We're the heavy favorites in this one. Like, come on, just for once, not have a stressful Super Bowl, a seven to nothing lead. Come on, 14, nothing. Keep pounding it. Don't let the Bucks back in the game, please, dude. 21 to three. This was how much we were winning by against the Cowboys in the first Super Bowl. We choked 28 10. No shot, bro. No shot. Come on. Keep on pounding the football. Keep on pounding the rock. That should be Super Bowl number two solidified for Patrick Mahomes. And let me tell you, boys, it's about freaking time. Now time to advance even further into the future. And we really, really, really need Patrick here to win some more Super Bowls and to make some more Pro Bowls. We've made it all the way to 2050, but things aren't looking too good for the Chiefs. I wonder, though, is that because Patrick Mahomes finally, after like 30 plus years, signed elsewhere? Let me tell you something this man is nothing but loyal and even with them being maxed out at 99 across the board he's not even the top qb like what do you mean i mean the team around him has definitely been better before and honestly this defense looks about as bad as it's ever been and according to this he's contracted to be a chief until 2055 first i've got to see how much he's shattered these nfl records he's thrown for 131,000 passing yards i think it stopped counting at a certain point now passing touchdowns he's up to 1,209, almost double that of Tom Brady. Now for this video's sake, please tell me he's won some more Super Bowls. So in 2044, the Bills won, but hey, Mahomes got another MVP. 2045, the Vikings get it done, but yo, another MVP for Mahomes. 2046 goes to the Steelers. Again, in 2047, we fall short, but another MVP for Patrick. Again, no Chiefs Super Bowl, but another another MVP? Jesus, 2049, of course, another Jet Super Bowl, and another Patrick Mahomes MVP? So surely he's made 20 Pro Bowls up to this point. Like, look at the numbers he's putting up. Okay, something's wrong here. It says he's only made 15 Pro Bowls, but he's won like five MVPs since we checked last. He's literally won 16 league MVPs. So I think what we've discovered here is Madden stops counting after 15. Therefore, I'll go ahead and count that as challenge achieved. Oh, what do you know? He won another one this season. I can't believe we've almost made it 30 seasons with prime Patrick Mahomes and he's only won two more Super Bowls. So we've made it to 2051 and franchise hasn't ended quite yet. Like I literally don't know what year it ends. So until then, we need the Chiefs to win every Super Bowl possible. At least Patrick's not going out without a fight. Not a lot of touchdowns thrown, but like maybe that's still MVP numbers. What a shocker. Patrick didn't win an MVP. MVP. Come on, Patrick. We've got to win, given every opportunity, and we lost, I think. We actually lost, got first round. Did we lost by Tim, bro? And that's not good, because for all I know, franchise is gonna end this offseason. Not at the end just yet, but literally, man, it is Super Bowl or bust. Patrick is doing everything in his power to complete this challenge. Although, honestly, for his standards, that's a subpar season. For anyone else, that's a banger. Is that MVP worthy? No. See, his passing yards have stayed the same. Like, did I break franchise? We've got to get at least one more Super Bowl, Patrick. Just at least one more. And we got first rounded again. We lost by seven. Do we get to make it into 2053? No! Oh, depression. So, yes, Patrick might have very well failed the career challenge. But 17 MVPs later, he successfully solidified himself as by far the greatest NFL player of all time. And no wonder the passing yards stopped counting. It only goes back 17 years. Now, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you can click right here to watch another one that I promise you, you'll enjoy just as much, if not more.